YouTube. Got a new part, well parts for the Ducati. Right here. I'm gonna do a 520 uh, sprocket change. Just a quick chain sprocket. Change and getting rid of all this uh, silver and brushed metal. Get rid of the uh, stop chain. I'm replacing it with this. Here's the sprocket, we got gold back here. Um, here's the front spot sprocket right here. Here's the rear one. Um, the size I chose was I just went with the stock um, teething. It's a 15, and this is 42. Uh, just a quick change, um, as you see, right here. And the chain, the fab, RK520 chain. Black and gold. There's a lot of wax when I have to clean it. We'll get into that once I get into installing this. Put that out the way. Then we got the um, Duca bike. We're set to uh, replace these right here. Once you replace that, replace it with that. I'm doing this, sorry, I'm doing this kind of out of order, but it's the uh, carrier from Duca bike. And a black nut. Um, the only thing I'm kind of disappointed with, with the Duke bike, um, this nut, it didn't come with the uh, actual black, black one of these, this little uh, holder thing. You gotta use the stock one for it. So, what I mean, I've seen companies that make it in black, and uh, or I could just spray paint it black, black or paint it black or something like that. I don't really want to. Depends on what I want to do, but I'm definitely going to replace it and make it black. Uh, um, some tools you need. You need a needle nose. I need a, uh, what's this, a 6 millimeter Allen. 5 millimeter Allen. And, what is this, 9 16 socket. And you need a chain. Break a tool, break the chain off. Um, a lot of people do it different ways. I do have a, um, a saw, not a saw, but like a sander I can sand off the, um, the chain. I'll just sit, I decide what, what I want to do with it when I get to that point. Um, some cleaners and stuff you need. Chain cleaner, clean all that wax off the new one. Then, some lube to lube it up once it's on. And what is this? Yeah, either one of these. That's the penetrate lube, so yeah, no, I'll need this to lube it on. All right, and you need a, uh, to clean off the, uh, the new one. You need this, well, you don't need the specific one, but you need a, a chain brush to brush it off with. And you will need a 55 millimeter tool. Yeah, you'll need a 55 millimeter tool to break this off right here. Uh, I just use my torque wrench um, and torque it up to this. The specs, I think it's uh, two, 230 newton meters. So I have to torque to that, and I just do it in reverse, and it pops. It'll it'll pop off. Um, side, you'll need somebody to stand on the rear brake for you. Um, sit on a, sit on a bike and press the rear brake, but you can easily break it that way. So yeah, so you got everything for it in order to get this complete. So uh, uh, I know I need to get this off to get to the sprocket, obviously. And I believe we need to move this out the way because this, oh, it looks like it can sneak through. But I don't know, it's kind of close. So about this right here, we might need to um, take this off anyway. I guess we'll see. And lower the um, rear sets. Then, um, yeah, so I'm going from there. I'm excited and nervous because it's my first time ever doing this. So, especially with the chain. Um, 
because that's you know if you don't know what you're doing then uh, you know it's, it's pretty much the um, it controls the bike pretty much so uh, we'll get into it hopefully I get this done right so all right let's go okay guys I'm gonna start by getting the front sprocket cover off this is a uh, five millimeter Yep, I'm about to remove these, the uh, rear sets. These are uh, the rear sets, so I'm going to remove this top one, this one, just to see if it'll move down. Let's see. Okay, guys, I had to use a um, smaller socket wrench to get in here to get back here this is kind of hard to reach area so just try to find the smallest socket wrench you can get out here to get this to lower this down so you can get to the sprocket so you can get to the front sprocket okay I'm sure I'm gonna take this off All this grease came from the sprocket. I gotta clean that up. That looks like crap. Look at that. They put on the bike stock by So anyway, I got this removed. There's the front sprocket. Right there. So I gotta break this loose. Let's get into that. Hey guys, I had to use my uh, torque wrench to uh, break the front sprocket loose. I used the 8 millimeter. Allen, and then I torqued it up to about 80 foot-pounds and I just torqued it the other way to break this loose. So now this is loose. Chain is loose. So now I move down to this. First thing you want to do, grab a needle nose. You want to grab this uh, little spring. Take this off. That one. Okay. So to the side. Unfortunately, we'll be uh, reusing this. This spring here, this um, safety nut, I think they call it. I'm gonna grab my big torque wrench. I got this torque to about 230 newton meters. Um, I already um, have it broken. As you see, it's loose. I already broke it loose. A um, uh, quick tip is to have somebody sit on a bike and press the rear brake, and then you torque it to 230 newton meters, in, but in reverse, and it'll um, it should crack it loose. In reality, I actually don't even need the uh, torque wrench. I can just take it off with my hand. It's already broke it. As you see, it's loose. It's already broken. So we don't need to worry about that right now. Next thing, we need to break these off. We got a multi-point socket. So I'm grab my torque wrench again. I think these are 44 newton meters. So I'm a, like I said, I'm talking in reverse. So I crack them again. Okay guys, I'm gonna break the chain loose. I found a master link is right here. So let's see what we can do and break this loose, grind it down. as you see, got the 
chain loose. Broken off. Let's use the chain brake tool. Use the uh, kind of solder down a little bit, get it flat. Then a chain brake tool actually worked pretty good, pretty efficiently. And I got the uh, one out, that's all I need out. So, now it's time to remove this thing. this nut, the rear nut. Like I said, I already had it broken. I just used my torque wrench. Um, I torqued it to 230 newton meters, but reversed. And I had someone sit on the rear brake. Sit on my bike and press the rear brake. That's how I broke it off easily. I won't be needing that anymore. Should be able to pull this off. Oh yeah. So just to the side here. This spacer. Okay, we're good. Next, we're saying we gotta get these off. These right here. I got them loose already. I'm broken. So basically, all I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need like an Allen or something back here to, to basically cause tension on this side, so I can get these off. So I'm gonna do that right quick. Okay guys, what I used was a, um, a 12 millimeter Allen for the back of these. Right here. Got a socket wrench. And then I used my uh, other socket wrench to cause tension so I can get these, so I can break these loose. Kinda like that. So what you will need to do. Now that these are loose, I can pretty much take them off with my hand. All right. I should be able to just slide this off. As, as you see, got the chain off. Next thing, I'm gonna unpack this. So you see, I got the chain unpacked already. I gotta clean it off, get all that wax off of it. Then I'm gonna unbox this too and put this on real quick. All right, let's get to it. All right, before I unpack the sprocket and all that and clean the chain off, I'm gonna clean off all this uh, dirt and stuff around here. Clean up around here first down here in the spill bar, which all that volume stuff in there. Just crack this open. Clean these off. Oh, there's a dude off there. Those numbers out. See, I don't know if you can see the numbers right here. It tells you. Let's see, you see, it says. What does it say? Five twenty, fifteen. That's the. Uh, it's fifteen, right here. And it's five twenty. Is the uh, um, gearing? I'm changing it to. I believe the stock the stock gearing is five twenty five. I'm going with five twenty. So. this off. Like so, set that to the side. Take this off like that. See, it sits just like that. I could definitely tell it's a huge weight difference between the two. Um, right now my scale is down, so we're going to measure it. There's other people with other videos too to tell you that the, stock, the difference, the weight difference, weight savings. Yeah, definitely a big difference. <clears throat> so I'm 
just like that. We'll just hand tighten this back on there. That's what I'm talking about, right there. It already has the um, the torque spec right there already for me. But I'm gonna torque it down anyway right, to stock. So now let's uh, get putting this on right here. Well, actually, no, at first I keep saying this, but now I'm gonna clean this chain off. Okay, guys, I cleaned the chain off. It's uh, up there hanging up for now until I get to it. But for right now, I'm gonna set the um, Cush drives in. Like so then we'll set this up there, the flange holder. I think that's what's called. See on which way to go. Let's go this way. Let me go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Name up. Press that on here. Like so then I'm gonna crack these open. I'm just gonna hand tighten them on for now. Last but not least. back here down like this I'll set that in there then I'm gonna screw each one in just hand tight the Duca bike um, carrier nuts are uh, 14 no, I'm sorry 17 millimeter versus the uh, stock ones were um, what do you think? 14 millimeter so this works wise, they're different different size. Like I said, these ones are 17 millimeters. Good. Okay guys, one quick side note. I don't know if you guys can see this little lip right here. It's like a little lip right there. That's how you know we got it fastened down enough. Um, so what I had to do is, like I said, I used the uh, um, socket back here and then I tightened the front until I got to that, until the lip is exposed. Right there, see that? That's how you know. So now I can actually put it on the bike. Okay. Um, so now, yeah, I, like I said, I can put it on the bike, but they still have to be torqued down to spec. Um, let's put it on the bike. I'm set it with Duke bike up. We are the spacer is already there. See, moving the spacer. The spacer is there. See the gold hitting behind there? Okay, with the uh, O wings suspension. I'm gonna grab this washer. If I can get it off the stand. Like so. is on. It's actually pretty tight now. It's still need to be torqued down now. So. Get my dirty handprints off of it. Get a clean rag. Clean that off real quick. And then we'll go to the, uh, get to putting the chain on. Got the chain. I'm gonna sit this through here. All right guys, if you couldn't see, I just kind of started here and looped it around sprocket like that and came around here look at that it's cut exactly 
to where I needed to. That's crazy. Uh, shout out to, uh, I want to say Sprocket Center, I think it's called. But yeah, I'm going to link in the description below. Basically, they specialize in uh, sprockets for uh, motorcycles. And um, they uh, believe they're located in California. But basically, um, the front and rear sprocket I purchased from them and the chain. What they did was it was like it's like a package deal. Basically, they cut the chain to where you actually need it, so you don't have to, you don't even have to cut. It's gonna cut for you. Um, all right, guys, I got the uh, master link. This one gets uh, two O rings. in from the back. All right, I'm gonna uh, tighten this on here. Chain tightening tool. Okay guys, since we're back here, I'm gonna uh, torque all these nuts down to uh, 44 Newton meters. This is a uh, 17 millimeter socket. Like I said, how you know they're torqued properly. Also, the um, how you left the uh, torque, um, these yellow things are torque measures. But the silver lip right here. All right, see that silver lip right there? It's exposed. It's on all of them. It's sticking out. Yeah, so you get the point. Okay, so I'm gonna torque these down to uh, about 25 newton meters. Uh, the front peg. Okay guys, we got the rear set all set. It's all torqued down properly. And then last and final move is to get to this, the, uh, the rear axle nut. Torque this down to 230 newton meters. And put this silver piece back on. I didn't get black yet. So I'm gonna order the black ones for both sides. And, okay guys. All right, we got a, my big torque wrench. Remember this, this tool is 55 millimeters. And when you're putting on a, a new, nice, shiny rear axle nut, you wanna put some painter tape around here so it doesn't actually scratch up your new one. Just a little hint. I'm gonna have someone sit on the bike, press the rear brake to get this torque down properly. And then we're gonna put this on. All right. All right, guys. All done. Got the rear pin in, as you see. Chain on in there. Got the rear sets all set. Front sprocket is in place. All right, I'm ready to go. I can't wait to ride this thing, test it out, and see how it feels. So what I'm gonna do now is just lower this thing down and uh, go on a ride. All right, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you on the next one. All right, peace.